Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this? You may ask, so I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I'll introduce you to my wonderful guest, Michelle Clark. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to be able to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform their present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic reiki, angel oracle cards, guide to meditation, hypnosis, to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny and a journey through lifetimes. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guide to meditation, angel oracle card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Michelle Clark, who'll be sharing about why being different is where it is all at and how to go in against the flow without dying of embarrassment. Now, Michelle is an energy maverick, mindset queen, public speaker, author and coach, but mostly a badass in badass empowering other women to turn up their sparkle so they can get on with bringing their gifts to the world while making more money and having more freedom. Now Michelle loves and I mean loves empowering women because she knows that we are the ones here to make a difference in the world and that this is our time to shine. Women have a vital role to play in shifting our world forward but we've been squashed and diminished so that we are no longer operating at our full potential. Now, with testimonials such as the one-to-one coaching I'm doing with Michelle is invaluable. For the past week, I had a mental block that had me stopped in my tracks. One session with Michelle, with her guidance and advice, and I'm back in the flow again. I've achieved more today than I have in the past week. And Michelle is a pure energy ball. She inspires and instigates me to do so many things that many can't. I can only 100% vouch that if you're ready and accepting of lessons and open to change, she can and will provide it. Whether you like it or not, being around her will give you cause and effect for many lessons. So without further delay, hello, Michelle, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? I'm fantastic. Thank you for having me. Ah, you're welcome. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you not only can share this show, but you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Michelle and I want to be part of this conversation. So please do not be shy. So Michelle, why don't you tell us more about your journey and why we should be going against the flow? It sounds like counterintuitive thing to say, doesn't it? Because I live all the time. I, I live in flow with my soul completely these days, but I didn't always. And Living in flow and really listening to your soul and connecting to angels and connecting to your higher being, and that is not generally flow in other people's lives, right? Like it's, it's not 100% accepted as normal. We're getting there. We're, we're certainly yeah. getting there. But going against the flow for me means that you tap into what your soul wants you to do instead of being like a fish and following everyone else. So the way to, like, I love business, right? That's how I empower women. And I only work with soul-led entrepreneurs, of course, but it's all about the business for me because that's what gets them freedom. But you, you can't have business success. You can't really get what you truly desire if you follow what everyone else is doing. If you follow what everyone else is doing, you're going to get what everyone else has got. And you're meant for something better than that. So you have to do something different. So that's what I mean about going against the flow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. So how, so where did you start? How did your journey start? My spiritual journey started. I mean, as all of us are, but you know, we're all born psychic. It's it's nothing unusual. I just never really lost mine. And I guess I grew up in a family that didn't really talk about it. But we kind of normalized it. Like no one said it was bad or wrong. or So I just presumed that everyone did it. I got quite a shock when I went to kindy. <laughs> yeah, that not everyone else was seeing angels and talking to plants. Um, yeah. So um, I learned to dull it down as everyone does, you know, but it never quite completely turned off for me like it, like it does for a lot of people. So, yeah, that was my spiritual journey. Um, 
and I've dived in and out of it all of my life. Like, I, it's just a part of me. It's not something I do. It is just a part of me, and I use it in everything that I've always done. Excellent. So, so what made you decide to go on the career path that you did go on? Was it straightforward, or did you do lots of fears and turns? <laughs> lots of twists and turns. I started out my life as a massage therapist. Um, and being an empath, I can actually, I feel people's feelings inside my body, but like physical sensations. So I'd start to have a sore leg and a week later, someone would come in with a massage with a sore leg and I'd be like, oh yeah, thank goodness you're here because I'm sick of feeling the sore leg. <laughs> so that's how my life started out. And I guess I chose a career where I could help people to feel amazing, but also where I wouldn't be overwhelmed by people. It's overwhelming being an empath, right? Like feeling everything. So yeah. I think I... Knowing what I know now, I know that I chose a career where I didn't have to be with too many people at one time. Um, but it's it's not exactly challenging being a massage therapist. So pretty soon I moved into teaching. I went and got um, a teaching degree and then I taught in colleges and then I ran colleges and I bought multiple businesses. And yeah, I'm a bit of a firecracker. I like to do a hundred things all at once. <laughs> um yeah, and as I was running the colleges, that's when I really decided that I wanted to be a coach. So even right throughout doing like massage and then I later did beauty therapy and I've done all sorts of things, right? Like what I noticed all the time is that people really need someone to light a fire under their ass and really get them brave. And that's what I that's what I do as a coach. So that's what I started doing in the colleges. And then pretty soon I realized that I could only take the teachers and the students so far because you're tied in in New Zealand it's called NZQA but you've got something similar um, in England as well yeah and yeah so you're, you're constrained so I left and now I, I coach only soul-led entrepreneurs okay, cool so um, you know who, who lit the fire under your ass how, how did you start I yeah I, I come from a long line of very very strong women and if you could describe me as a feminist, but I resist labels. <laughs> but I probably am. Um, my dad would tell you I am. I grew up a long, long line of really, really strong women. I mean, most of us have ancestors that have been witches and burnt at the stake. And, you know, we are strong women. Like, there, there's no denying it, right? Yeah. But I watched these very strong women live in a world where it didn't matter how strong they were, they were still constrained. And I really rebelled against that. And that's why I'm a rule breaker. I really detest the rules, you know, the way society was. I mean, I'm like not running around like speeding in my car or anything. I'm talking about society's rules. <laughs> because, and that's again, you know, going against the flow. Like if you expect me to look and behave a certain way as a woman, then I'm going to look and behave the exact opposite. Because I'm I'm kind of here to be that that grit inside the um the oyster that creates the pearl, if you like. I like that the grit inside the oyster that creates the pearl. I think that's that's absolutely perfect, um, and that analogy. Yeah, I like I like that one. We should all think like that. Yeah, yeah, we're all pearls. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And everyone really is a pearl. Like we are all here for for an intense reason on this earth, right? And just because it's it's ordained and just because it's a life purpose, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen unless you actually apply effort to it. It's not just going to land in your lap. You know, you've got to be taking the aligned actions, not all of the busy actions, and not the actions that everyone else is taking, but actions that are aligned with your soul. And if you really tap into your soul, that's why the work that you do is so important, you know, tapping the people back into their soul. This is where all the goodness is. There are no answers out there. They're all inside here. Exactly. Yeah, most um, definitely are. And it is learning to actually um, tap into that, um, into, into your inner wisdom. So with your work, is that um, what, you, what you help women do, tap into their inner, inner wisdom? You know, you know, what about the women that go, I can't tap into, you know, I, I just can't. Yeah, I, I help them too. And because everybody can, right? But the trick to that is there's a couple of things that happen. A, we turn off the messages that we're hearing because they're, they're too frightening. <laughs> so we, we turn them off. So I help them to turn them back on. But really, we've lost touch with our bodies. And the messages actually come through your body. 
and a lot of women can't feel like I'm so in tune with my body that I can feel what's going on in my small intestines right <laughs> it's pretty unusual but I'm that tapped into my body and it is honestly the clue that or the, the cue to tapping into soul if you can't do it any other way then tapping into your body getting regular massages so that you're used to the sensations on your body stopping and using your five senses what can I smell what can I hear right so actually getting used to using your body because yes we are spiritual but we're we're on earth right now regardless of what other lifetimes you've had on what stars you've been born on in this lifetime you're on earth and every single species is given a gift well, our gift is this physical vehicle that we're in. It might not feel like a gift all the time, but it is. <laughs> yeah. So we need we need to feel it, right? We're so up in our head and our brain is in charge of us. And it's just, it was never meant to be in charge. The brain's only role is to keep you safe. So it's like, there's a danger, there's a danger, there's a danger. So of course we're living in that way and we're living completely up in our head. We're, if we drop into our soul then and we come from love, there is no fear. If the, if the heart's in charge, then it's so much easier to live. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, and, and the world is a much nicer place um, to, to actually be in when you live from your heart rather than, than, than in your head, um, mm. which, is, which unfortunately a lot of people are doing. Um, uh, you know, they, they do live in the head rather than uh, um, in the heart. But as you say, it's because that's the way society has always kind of like pushed things to go. Um, and that so so what did your family think you know the women in your family when you sort of like took that step outside and going actually I'm going to uh I'm going to be the badass here I'm going to really push forward <laughs> my mum loves that my dad's like sometimes he messages me and he's like Michelle that just went a step too far I was like it's okay don't worry <laughs> what did he say to me he said he said oh we were talking about how you know, men are like, oh, don't spend that money. Or we're like, yeah, let's buy that investment. And, you know, are a bit more braver. And he said, yeah, you know, behind every good man, there's a strong woman. I said, there's a way better saying than that, Dad. Behind every strong woman is her effing self. It's like, <laughs> oh, God, Michelle, why don't you just start the feminist party? There's every other party in Parliament to start the feminist party. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that would be so funny mm. um, to do. Um, but don't you have don't you have a female in charge? We have a female in charge. We, we, we don't have a feminist party as such. <laughs> yeah, but you've got a female in charge. So what, what, what more can you say to that one? Exactly. <laughs> and that, so, so when women come to um, see you, you know, are, you know, have, have they already got businesses? Are they starting businesses? Um, you, you know, where, where, where are they in their life? Yeah, most of the women that I work with have already started their businesses. Like when you first start your business in the first year, having coaching would be quite a pressure because, especially with me, because I push really hard. So you kind of want to get your feet underneath you first, you know, and get get kind of the tech stuff set up and, and do a few things. And you kind of get to a point where you can grow any business to, to 100,000, right? Really, really easily on your own. But it's the next step that really takes some effort. Then you've got to really find your true message and you've really got to get visible. And most women that come to me, they're just not brave because society squashed them down. I mean, we've been told all our lives to, to sit down and shut up. Not, you know, nice girls care for other people and don't be a skite, Michelle. And, you know, so we right. have all these stories. Go, yeah, oh, a skite, a show off. Oh, okay. <laughs> that must be a New Zealand term. I think that's a New Zealand term. <laughs> And so, of course, we have all these stories that are layered over top of us. So we want to be visible. We might even know what our story is, but quite often we don't really know what our story is because we're, we're bastardizing that as well. You know, we're playing it down, watering it down. So that's what I do. I really get them to find the real message and I give them permission to play outside of the rules. And then I hand them back their power and then they fly. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so, so how do they um, kind of like, you know, if if they're kind of like lost in 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 themselves, you know, how how can they? Well, if you say, you know, they think they're showing themselves to the world, but they're not showing themselves to the world. Um, mm -hmm. How how do you help them realize that 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 they're not actually being as visible as they should be? I, I push them hard and I say why. Like they say, this is my post, and I and I'll be like, 
oh yeah awesome so what are you trying to make a person feel and they're like uh because there's no real feeling in it or if there is a feeling i'll be like and why why do you want someone to feel that so i really make them dig down to the real root of it i'm a bit ruthless <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't say ruthless it's kind of like um hmm, empowering them giving them the confidence yeah to to do to do things i, I think that's uh, that that's a nice way of saying oh, that's a nice yeah. way of saying it <laughs> Um, rather than um, sticking to firework. Um, <laughs> and, and that. So have you always, um, I mean, you said you went against the flow to get into the flow. Um, mm. but has that always been there for you? Or did you find that there were times where it was a little bit difficult? Oh, always. I mean, e even now, like there's times where it's difficult, where, where I'll download a message and I'll be like, I don't want to say that. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to say it today. But but I do. So at the moment, I'm actually so there's there's different energies coming into Earth right now, right? And everyone's feeling it. Well, everyone's feeling it in New Zealand. Maybe we're the first to get it. I don't know. We're the first to get it. <laughs> <say. laughs> but no, um, the, the, this energy is coming in across the across the world. Uh, exactly. Yeah, and and it is quite galactic type energy. And I'm getting all of these these what's the way to describe it codes really um symbols and different things that are helping my clients to kind of integrate and they're calling it kind of recoding for evolution now that's quite well away from what i do in my business coaching so i'm like oh please spirit guides god do we have to make me look like a, you know like this again okay but you know like I, I have a personal policy that if i get a message that wants to be shared i will share it regardless of how ridiculous it makes me look I will share it because somebody needs to hear it and helping other people is more important than how I look. Yeah, ex exactly. And, you know, if you get those messages, then you do need to actually um, get them out. You know, I will literally um, talk, you know, talk about stuff, um, even if people kind of, I can see people are rolling their eyes or something like that. Because yeah. That's what, that's what, that's what's got to come out of my mouth. You know, that's what I've, that's what I've got to say. Um, and so what if, if you if you're rolling your eyes at me um, somewhere deep inside that message is getting through to you without you realizing um, exactly yeah yeah we, we, we don't need their acceptance right it's not about acceptance no. it's about change exactly yeah def definitely about um, change so when you say you sort of like you've you've had lots of businesses um and and that you know you, you've done lots lots of things what made what drove you to to actually have those businesses you, you know you you were teaching um in um in in college or, or whatever um and most people would say well you know that's such a rewarding job what made you go on mm. to do businesses because, well, I mean, I, I've always been an entrepreneur. I started my first business when I was eight, selling eggs to my dad. <laughs> good, good. And, and then I bought my first real business when I was 18. So I've I've always known how to make money. Like I've always been good friends with money. It's, it's something that I like to talk about because it's confronting. Wealth is confronting. So I like to talk about that because we deserve to be wealthy. And especially yep. in the spiritual realm, people are like, oh, but I can't charge for this. I'm like, darling, the, the care you're giving is for free. The thing that you're charging for is your worth, right? So, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I, I've always been business orientated. Like I've always known how to make money, but all of my businesses – Oh, that's not true. I mean, I have investment investments as well outside of my businesses. All my businesses are very care focused and people focused. My investments are all over the place, property and you know, Bitcoin and sharesies and all sorts of things. <laughs> yeah, I haven't quite got into the Bitcoin thing. Um and and that it's kinda of like taking off here. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's not not something I've I've personally got um I've got going to. I can't look and go. Yeah, I really don't understand that. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for it. If I'm if I'm meant to know about it, I'll understand it at some point. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and that because you can't force these these cement things on. It's like yeah. So I don't know about it. Okay. Obviously, I'm not meant to know about it at this moment in time. Yeah. Uh, 
and and that which I think is a pretty good way to actually look at life yeah, and, I think so. and, and everything goes so you write as well I, I do book, haven't you I do I've written two books and my my second book is at the publisher now it's called um, woo woo for women in business <laughs> okay. which is perfect um and it really it teaches people how to harness that soul and use it to grow their business because we all know that we're woo-woo and most you know lots of us have a business but we don't necessarily know how to mesh the two together so it's about meshing the two together so that you get exponential results cool that sounds really really interesting mm. um so when you're looking at getting that published um it's at the it's at the editors now so it depends on how long it takes him to edit that um but i think it'll probably be hitting amazon probably by the end of july i'd say that's absolutely brilliant um so what was your first book about um my first book is called woman up and it's it's actually it's about women stepping up and becoming leaders of the light. So before um, COVID hit, I started getting a whole lot of messages about the world is changing, the world is changing, a catastrophe is coming and everything's going to shift. And I was like, awesome, what now? <laughs> it was just COVID. <laughs> um, but yeah, and at the same time, I was downloading a book. Like I, I literally don't remember writing much of it. And then I didn't read back through it until it was published because I was like, I'm going to be embarrassed about what's in here. So I don't want to do it. And I read back through it and I was embarrassed. <laughs> so embarrassed? I'm like, oh, there's lots of really personal stuff in there. Like I share like what happened to me and the pain of it so that I could help other people to grow. So there's some very personal stuff in there that I would not have chosen to share had it not been channeled. <laughs> Yeah, um, and it's pretty crazy. It talks about how we're moving into an equalist era. So we've had the time of the feminine, we've had the time of, you know, of patriarchy. And I don't think, like, we're actually moving into a time now where we are going to be on a level playing field, finally. You know, we're not, we're supposed to work together. And people rave on about toxic masculinity, but there's also toxic femininity, you know, pretending you care, but you're really just manipulating. And, you know, the toxic masculinity of being all authoritative and trying to squash people, well, all of that's going to stop. When we realize that we're actually all here together, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it, it most certainly is. And it is working in balance because technically, you have to have the uh, male and the feminine to be in balance, your yin and your yeah. yang, um, light yeah. and dark. You know, you, you need both to, to be in balance with each other to actually create harmony and move your life forward and actually have the abundance that you really, really want. Well, not, not that you want, the abundance that is your birthright. Exactly, the abundance that is your birthright. That's exactly it, yeah. Yeah, which is, you know, where people like you are brilliant, where you come in and you actually, um, you know, help women tap into that um, to, you know, to accept their, to accept their, their birthright, their, their abundance, um, mm -hmm. to, to actually make that step out there um, mm -hmm. uh, in, into the world, to bring the feminine into the masculine yeah. side of it. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's and, pretty cool. Yeah, and we do need to do business in a feminine way. I mean, like if you look at marketing, if you look at the media, like it's all fear based and it's all very aggressive. But we don't we don't operate in that way, and people don't want that anymore. People are looking for softness, real you know, realness, integrity. That they're, they're looking for what women have to offer, but we're just we're just not brave enough because we haven't been raised to be brave, whereas the boys have been raised to be brave, right? So. Yeah, so that's all. We've just got to step into our braveness and bring our gifts to the world because the world needs what we have right now. All the healers, all the, you know, with all of this new energy coming into earth, now is the time. Oh, absolutely. And, of course, it's it's, it's showing our young people as well, at, yeah. you know, giving, giving, giving them a, a difference, um, you know, about how life how life really should be mm -hmm. and not how it's been perceived for, from our generations. Exactly, exactly. We, we tell them that they can do anything they want and then they watch us doing everything that we don't want. And they're like, well, didn't work for you, so how's it going to work for me? So, of course, they're, they're depressed and they're worried. Like New Zealand has one of the highest youth suicide rates in the world. It's really quite disgusting. Yeah. And, and it's and time to stop. 
Yeah. And do you think that is because um, it's kind of like they've not been shown that there is a different way of looking at life and doing yeah. things? Yeah. We have a real scarcity mindset in New Zealand. The whole number eight wire, I can do it myself. Like we have a real resistance to asking for help, which is why the work that I do is so important. But we also have a real aversion to showing off you know, we we don't want to be out there, especially the women. The women are taught really to, to not show off and not to step outside. And so, of course, all of our youth, are, say, are we're telling them they can have everything they want. And then we're showing them that there's nothing for them, that we're, we're so miserable that we drink a bottle of wine at night and watch Netflix all night. That's what we're showing them. So there's nothing for them to live towards. So, of course, they don't want to be alive. Yeah. Yeah, which is which is really, really sad. Um, and that but with the work you're doing you know that that's part of making the change um mm. towards the towards the next generation um who are going to bring in that that um equality of masculine and femininity um yeah. to together which i which i think is absolutely brilliant so with your intuitive stuff um do is it something you you know you kind of go okay what am I going to intuitive today or is it just you'll just be doing the washing up and then suddenly oh that comes in oh it just comes in all the time yeah <laughs> it used to be something that I had to focus on but but not anymore like it, it just comes in whenever it wants to come in of course I can tap in if I want to but there's no real need because I get messages all the time yeah which is absolutely <laughs> brilliant way of actually your own yeah. doing um, so, as you know, I do guided meditations, angel oracle card readings, and each week I like to ask my guests whether they would like a mini guided meditation, angel oracle card for themselves and the viewers. So, Michelle, what would you like me to do? Can we do an angel oracle card? Why Love not? <laughs> I know, I got it right by my side. Amazing, <laughs> isn't that? <laughs> okay, so let's see. So obviously when I do the cards, I don't um, do predictions. When I do the cards, it's what you need to know for your high school at this moment in time, um, which sounds a bit contradictory because obviously I work with past life regression where we go back in time. But when we work with the past life, it's to clear that so we can be fully present. And mm -hmm. when I take people into the future, it's so they know the future so they can be back fully present. Because um, yeah. as you know, we really need to be fully present, fully grounded in the here and now. So my, my card readings do that. So what does Michelle and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? What does Michelle and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? Okay, let's see what we're going to have come out today. Perfect. <laughs> gates of triumph success expands your life fantastic what perfect. more perfect card could come out <laughs> absolutely perfect i just love i just love the way the cards always always do always always do this so yeah so everyone you know who's um, watching and for you as well michelle you know it's confirmation um, with with what you're doing, you know, that, um, you know, the success does expand your life out there, um, you know, and, you know, it, it, um, you're actually being that beacon, that light to actually um, help people get to that, get to that path. You are that success, you are that triumph um, for it. And for those that, that are watching, you know, go, as Michelle said, go, go within, see how successful you really, truly are. You know, you are your own trumpet, your, your, you know, your, your own gate to actually go through into that light and bring your talents and gifts to the world and be that successful person mm -hmm. from there. So a beautiful card. And I just love the way the sun comes through there as well. Yeah. It's like, it's like absolutely perfect. Um, so thank you for bringing that card into, uh, in, into, the, into the reader, Michelle. Um, so, Michelle, do you have any insights or thoughts to leave our viewers? Yeah, just that they already are the exact person that they need to be with the exact knowledge. 
they don't need to be looking elsewhere. They don't need to be doing other courses or other things. Go within and, and bring it out. The thing that you see inside of you is meant for you. You wouldn't be showing it if it wasn't for you. So don't poo-poo it and, you know, oh, that's for someone else. Oh, but someone else does that better. If it's been shown to you, it's because you have your, your unique spin and your own codes to bring to it. And the world needs you right now. Right now, the world needs you. Absolutely, you're um, perfect. So thank you so much. Um, they're, they're brilliant words of wisdom. So I hope everyone that you've enjoyed this and found it insightful and the words of wisdom Michelle has given you will help you further on your journey. So Michelle, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? What's the best way? Um, they can find me all over social media, of course. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Um, if you want to jump onto my website or email me, um, info at empowermentempires.com. Or if you just Google empowermentempires.com, then you will find me. And I will put the links um, into the comments. And what are your two books called? The one that has been published and the one that's about to be published? The one that's been published is already available on Amazon, and that's called Woman Up. Um, you can get it in ebook or in physical copy. And the next one is called Woo Woo for Women in Business. I'm pretty excited about that one. I Maybe I'll send you um, a copy when it comes out and you can you can review it. Yeah, that would be absolutely lovely. I would love to do that for you. So, so thank you. Yeah, I love reading as it is. Um, yeah, I, I, can, I, I can get through a book a day. Um, yeah. <laughs> just one of those things. Um, so if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your life purpose and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. So please feel free to reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call to find out more about each other and whether I can actually help you on your journey. And of course, I do have the Angel Wings um, community membership um, where you get a chance to grow with the Ascended Masters, Archangels, Gods, Goddesses, Oracle Cards and other members of the group to actually spread your wings and soar. And of course, if you want to sign up to my uh, weekly newsletter um, from my website, you also get a chance to get a free future life progression where we take you into a future lifetime so you can actually bring back some wisdom and insights into your current life. So mm -hmm. thank you everyone so much for watching and I would like to invite you to share this show as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And of course mm -hmm. if you're watching this on YouTube do subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when the show goes live. So again, thank you so much, Michelle, for being on the show. It's been a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for having me. That was so much fun. Brilliant. And everyone watching, I look forward to you joining me again, same time, same place next week. And do check out Michelle's books and her website. Take care. Bye. Bye.